Hi everyone, welcome back to Riker Rise. I am super excited about this install. Um, I am introducing a powder coated, powder, I don't know why I have a hard time with that word, powder coated handlebars. Mine is blue to match my blue stripe on my wrap. This is the OEM Can-Am Sport Handlebar. So it has a slightly different shape than your regular handlebar that you have on your bike. It has more of a turn inward like this for sporty turns. So I have quite a few different color options to choose from. And I, I'm just, I'm so excited to bring this to you guys. So I'm going to show you how to install it and it's going to come to you ready to go. It's going to come to you just like this. Okay. So the first step, I'm just going to dive right in. The first step is going to be to remove everything from your handlebars obviously because you could be taking them off so i am going to um you can be replacing it so i'm going to take everything off and i'm going to come back and i'm going to show you how to take the grips off and the controllers off and hopefully this will be pretty quick and easy as always i'll let you know how it goes as i'm doing it stay tuned i'll be right back okay unfortunately i needed to move inside because it's starting to rain but these mirrors should be Pretty easy to take off. I'll put all the tools down below that you need. I always forget how long these screws are. Ah, okay. Now, sorry. Now all you do is you twist and it should pop right off. There you go. So now I'm gonna do it on the same one on the other side. In the meantime, while I'm recording, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with these. These are simply going to unscrew all four of these. I do kind of try to loosen them up one at a time. Okay. These have been um, spray painted a little bit, so they're Yours aren't going to be stuck, but mine are stuck because they're spray painted. So I'm going to have to just kind of pop them off. Right, this one broke free. Yours won't have this issue. It's only because mine are spray painted. There you go. Okay. And then next, I'm going to unscrew um, the bolts that are holding your controls on there and uh, your controller and all your kind of good stuff. Uh, I'm going to take these these off and these I'm just using um, a little small and I'm just taking the screws out. It's really not a hard uh, a hard install. It just takes time. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's not um, it's not a big deal at all. And then this opens right up and pops right off. So I'm gonna put the screws that came out of this in here so I know what goes where. Ta -da. Look, Ma, no handlebars. All right, next we're gonna take off the throttle side. And this one just has three screws instead of the other side has four. And then I turn it this way so I don't lose any of the screws. Guys, nothing worse than losing the screws inside the bike. Oh, it's so annoying. I need to get one of those magnet tools to, to find the missing screws and bolts that drop in there. Again, this is just time consuming, not difficult at all. And this comes off this way. Now, that's kind of cool, right? And then this, you, your handlebar needs to be off so you have enough leverage to pull this off. So this is completely off. Okay, now that the handlebar is off, 
you've got one remaining piece to take off in order to make this job super easy or almost done. The left side handle grip, it, it does not come off. It, it's just, it's a real pain. I promise you it's annoying as anything. There is a blaster, a spray that I'll, I'll put the picture up. Ta -da! I'll put the picture up for you and I'll show you um, what is recommended that I know people have used it and had a lot of success. But the ideal way to do it, I think is the easiest way to do it is if you have an air compressor and you just get in with the air compressor tool, you get in between, and same thing if you have the spray, you get in between there and you blow it up and then it pops right off. So I'm gonna show you um, how to do it with an air compressor but if not, you know, that blasting um, spray lubes it up and it slides it off. But I don't have the spray and I'll show you how, um, how it's done for me. Let's try it out. Okay, now we are ready to finish up and put the handlebar on. And we're basically just redoing everything um, in reverse. So the first thing you want to do is put your, um, your throttle on because you need that kind of leverage or angle to get it on correctly. So you don't need to put it on all the way, you just need to make sure that this part is on. And then you want to secure the handlebars with your, your covers here. It's a little bit tricky, but I'm going to try to show you how to do this real quick. So I'm just going to do one screw, one screw on each side. And at this point, don't, you know, you kind of want your handlebars to be in the right spot. Okay, and then I'm going to put, I have everything in my pocket. Um, then you're going to put this on, and I'm going to put the bottom one on. Just to kind of get it started. It's going to rain any second, so I'm trying to get this done while I have help from my friend Sean. So Hello. Hey. Say something in South African. Nothing. In South African? Yeah, in Afrikaans. In Afrikaans, let me think. Um, Say something non, you know, PG. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? It means you must hurry up before the before the ride. And you want to get your handlebars now before everything gets tight and tightened. You want to put them in the position that you want. So I want them just like that. Um, you might want them down further. You, I mean, so you tilt them in the position that you want. You want to do your best to make sure that this is pretty equal there. And I think it is. Okay. So that's where I like it. These need to get crazy, crazy tight or uh, your handlebars will drop. Here comes some big thunder in like five seconds. I can feel it coming. around with this a little bit until you 
you kind of get it to the point where see, it's not going in like this. So you need to make sure you get it so it makes a nice connection. Oh yeah, there you go. So you know, because it has to be able to turn. So you want to make sure you have it in there right for many obvious reasons. There you go. Just feel that clip. You hit a little clip, that's how you know it's on right. You want to kind of make it so it's up against here. And then you're going to go through and put your screws in. Just make sure it's flush against the end here. And then get it to where you want it and then just finish it off. All right, how do you know that this, you want to make sure when you spin it, that it, that it works and goes back. That's how you know that this is on correctly, that you're moving this, but this is not moving. That's how you know this is on right. And then, I have all my other stuff to put on, I'll put that on later. I'm going to finish up this side. back in and this whole side is totally done. Okay, so on this side with your controllers, you're going to want to put it on um, and you want to put those two screws on in the back, but don't tighten it all the way. You need to figure out how far in you have to be with um, your grip. Okay. So what you do is, because the grip's not on just yet, I mean, you could put the grip on if you want. So the grip has you notice this part of the grip is has a wider base than the top part here. So this part goes at the end. So it's going to look like this. So what I'm just going to do is set it up just like that. So I'm going to set it up so it's nice and flush with it. Let's go place this bone apart. Okay? And then I'm just going to, now I'm going to go through and tighten it. You can always fine tune it and make adjustments after. Okay, I'm going to put some hand sanitizer in here and see if I can just kind of twist this on. And if not, I'm going to have to use my um, air compressor to blow it back on. So just pry this in here nice, make sure it's in there really well. Don't be afraid to put some on the bar as well. And then now, I like using hand sanitizer. Oh, perfect. Because it dries really quickly. So I would actually put this on before tightening this because now I need to loosen this up a little bit and slide it over because it's not quite flush. And then to put the other mirror on and we are done. So if you guys like this, I have it on my website in many colors and again it is the Sport Handlebar by Can-Am and Sean if you take a look uh, if you want to come on on this side Sean there's different holes here there's some exposed holes and those are for your clips that come on those are for your clips that come on the handlebar. So you can either pop these off, which are a little challenging to get off, and put them back in the hole. And then you can use them to um, put your, your straps back on, your cords to go back on. Um, but it's not, um, I'm not gonna do it. I don't mind that it came down a little bit. I'm just gonna leave it alone. So I'll show you a picture when it's all done. 
because now I'm just going to put on this last mirror. And I am like so excited. It just gives you that pop of color. It personalizes it, it makes it cool. What do you think, Sean? It looks awesome. Thanks, Sean. I paid him to say that though, so I don't know if that, that counts. Oopsie. You didn't pay me enough, so it does count. <laughs> you wish you got paid, right? Yeah. You get paid in hugs. He's like hugs and Coca Cola. <laughs> All right, so make sure this is nice and tight. Adjust your mirrors. Wow, that looks awesome. God, it really pops. I love it. All right, so if you're interested. Check out my website down below. The link to it is in the description down below. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody.